Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG Hero Pack Focus. And this time we are looking into the uh, Jubilee Hero Pack, which comes with the pre-built Justice deck. And there is also one extra uh, encounter set in the deck. So without further delay, let's get started. I have to say that uh, Jubilee isn't one of my uh, favorite X-Men. Uh, she might be the least favorite X-Men of all. I never liked the character and the only saving grace for this hero pack is that it comes with the Justice uh, pre-built deck. So I'm really a big fan of Justice decks because I almost only play true solo. So I'm hoping the deck is at least fun to play, even though I'm not that interested in the hero. But uh, without further delay, let's jump into the uh, signature set of Jubilee. So first off we have uh, Jubilation Lee, the alter ego side, three recovery, mutant traded, a mole rat action, search your deck for the shopping spree, uh, player side scheme and put it into play, limit once per phase. And uh, on the hero side, we have Jubilee, one for one attack, two defense, X-Men traded, like totally uh, resource, Exiles Jubilee, generate a uh, wild resource. And the hand size is five, hit points is nine. Uh, the hand size on the Alder Ego side was six, which I forgot to uh, say, but yeah. Pretty basic, um, nothing special yet, but uh, let's continue to the signature set. So first off we have signature ally Wolverine, for cost ally with one war, three attack with an asterisk, two consequential damages on the attacks, uh, Wolverine's attack gains piercing. And for hit points, X-Men traded uh, response after you change to alter ego form, heal three damage from Wolverine. Okay. And Wolverine can be committed as a, a wild resource. Okay. So an ally that just stays in play, which is really nice. Uh, next up, we have a player side scheme. So it is the shopping spree, zero costed. Side scheme, scheme. Uh, three, uh, threat cannot be removed from this scheme by heroes or allies. Alter ego action, <coughs> exhaust your identity, remove one threat from here. Any player may trigger this ability. When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme researches their deck and discard pile for an item card and puts it into play. And this comes into play with only two uh, threat on it. Okay. And uh, yeah, it could be committed as a wild resource. Next up we have Jubilee's Coat, two costed upgrade, item traded. Jubilee gets plus one Thwart. Hero responds Thwart after you play a Thwart event, exhaust Jubilee's Coat and choose a scheme. Remove one threat from that scheme for each different resource type used to pay for this event. And this can be committed as a wild resource. So we are already seeing a trend of wild resources. That's uh, pretty good for that uh, card because you are you can basically say every wild resource used is a different uh, kind of resource. And uh, next up we have Jubilee's uh, sunglasses. Two cost upgrade item traded. Jubilee gets plus one attack. Hero response attack. After you play an attack event, exhaust Jubilee's uh, sunglasses and choose an enemy. Deal one damage to that enemy for each different resource type used to pay for that event. And of course this has a wild resource icon. So uh, we are seeing the trend here already. <coughs> Next up we have Blind Flash, which is a 3 cost event, superpower traded. Hero action, choose X enemies where X is the number of different resources, ro uh, resource types used to pay for this event. Stun and confuse each chosen enemy. And this can be committed as a wild resource. Okay, so in multiplayer this could be a really good card. I don't think it's that great in true solo, but we'll see. 
next up we have Firecracker. There are three copies of this card. So Firecracker is a two cost event, attack and superpower traded, hero action attack, deal four damage to an enemy. If you paid for this card using two different resource types, stun that enemy. And this can be committed as a mental resource. Actually, uh, scratch that. This can be committed as a energy, this can be committed as a mental, and this can be committed as a uh, physical resource. So each of them has a different resource icon, which is new and which is, I think, a bit interesting also. And then we have Flash of Light. There are three copies of this and the same thing, they all have different resource types. So Flash of Light is a two cost event, super powered and thwart traded, hero action thwart, remove three threat from a scheme. If you paid for this card using two different resource types, confuse an enemy. So basically the same as with the firecracker but for thwarting and instead of stun you get the confuse. So next up we have Grand Finale. Uh, Grand Finale is a three cost event, uh, only one copy in the deck. Attack and superpower traded, hero action attack, deal two damage to an enemy. For each different resource type uh, you use to pay for this card, choose an enemy and deal two damage to it. And this can be committed as a wild resource. So interestingly enough, um, this has uh, four different, so uh, energy, mental, physical and wild. So uh, you can deal up to uh, two damage to up to four enemies. Uh, or you can just deal everything to one enemy because uh, it doesn't need, have to be a different enemy. So it's uh, like you deal four times two damage to one enemy if you only have one enemy to choose or whatever. But yeah, that seems like a good card. And lastly, we have three copies of Plasmid, uh, Plasmoid Energy and uh, it is a resource card. And notice that uh, every card has a different combination of icons on it. So this combos really well with the uh, Jubilee's events. So another hero with the event focused deck, which is nothing new, but I, I like the different energy type thing on it, on Jubilee's signature cards. Uh, next up, uh, let's look at the rest of the pre-built deck with the Justice and Basic cards. So first off we have a Justice Ally Chamber. Uh, chamber is a force cost ally with two thwart and two attack, psionic and axman traded, and three hit points. Uh, chamber takes minus one consequential damage after he attacks an, a confused enemy. And chamber can be committed as an um, energy resource. Okay, and then we have Husk. Husk is a four cost ally with two thwart and two attack, axman traded, three hit points. Interrupt when Husk uses a basic power. Spend up to three resources. If you spend at least one men, uh, energy resource, Husk gets plus one to that power for this use. Uh, mental resource, heal one damage from Husk. And uh, <coughs> uh, physical resource, ready Husk after this use. And can be committed as a physical resource. Next. Uh, we have Disguise, uh, there are three copies of this. So uh, Disguise is a one cost upgrade, item traded, play under any player's control, max one per player, action toward, exhaust Disguise and your identity, remove two, threat from a scheme. And this can be committed as a mental resource. And not super excited about that, but for our reading ally that could be a good one. Next we have Waylay, and I think Waylay has been already um, released in a previous product way, ways ago, 
But <clears throat> just a refresher, uh, waylay is a 3 cost event, attack traded, hero response attack, after your hero thwart, deal 4 damage to an enemy, 7 damage instead if that uh, thwart removed the last threat from a scheme, and this can be committed as a physical resource. Uh, then we have uh, three steps ahead. Um, not sure if this has been around before three copies of this, but it sounds familiar, but we'll go through the card. Uh, three cost events, toward traded hero action toward for each different resource type. Uh, you used to pay for this card, choose and scheme and remove two threat from it. And this can be committed as a mental resource. Um, I think we haven't seen this card before. I'm, I'm pretty sure it, it really combos with Jubilee's um, whole different resource types uh, stick. Next up we have uh, uh, Generation X, which is a zero-costed zero player side scheme, victory zero, and uh, each X-Men character gets plus one thwart while making a basic thwart against this scheme. When defeated, each player may search their deck and discard pile for an identity specific event and add it to their hand shuffle and comes into play with three threat per player on it and can be committed as a energy resource. Okay, <clears throat> next uh, uh, power of justice with new art, so nothing special. Then we have sync. Uh, sync is a basic ally. <clears throat> uh, three Costed ally with one sword and one attack. X-Men traded with three hit points. Play only if your identity has the X-Men trait. And interrupt when you use a basic power. Exhaust sync, you get plus one to that power for uh, this use. Next up we have cell phone. Uh, three copies of cell phone in the pre-built deck and uh, two cost upgrade item traded uses three charge counters action exhaust cell phone remove one charge counter from here and choose a player that player makes a basic attack or toward with a character they control that character gets plus one toward and plus one attack for this use and this can be committed as an uh, energy resource Next up we have X-Gene, <coughs> three copies of this. X-Gene is a one cost upgrade, play only if your identity has the mutant trait, max one per player. Resource, exhaust X-Gene, generate a wild resource for an identity specific event, and this can be committed as a wild resource. Last, not lastly, but um, almost last, <coughs> we have multi-talented. It is a three cost event and three copies of it in the deck. Attack on Thwart traded, hero action attack or Thwart. Uh, if you paid for this event using at least uh, one mm, physical resource, deal two damage to an enemy. Mental resource, remove two threat from a scheme or uh, energy resource, heal two damage from your identity. <coughs> and this can be committed as a physical resource. And lastly, uh, in the pre-built deck we have Unlikely Duo, and it is a two-cost event attack, uh, traded, team up, Jubilee and Wolverine, max one per deck, hero action attack, confuse an enemy, deal four damage to a confused enemy, and this can be committed as a wild resource. And next up we'll look at uh, Jubilee's obligation and nemesis sets. First off, the obligation grounded. Uh, give to the Jubilation Lee player as an additional cost to change to hero form. During your turn, you must spend two resources of the same type. When revealed, change to alter ego form. Response after you play a Jubilee event, remove this card from the game. Uh, okay, that seems like an annoying one. But yeah, let's go to the Nemesis side ski, uh, set, or Nemesis set. So first off, uh, we have Nanny, which is uh, Jubilee's Nemesis minion. And um, uh, Nanny has two scheme, one attack, mutant traded, and four hit points toughness. 
Uh, force response. After Nani attacks you, if you control one or more allies, search the encounter deck, discard pile and set aside area for one copy of Lost uh, Child and reveal it. And this can be... Uh, this has a two um, boost icons on it. Then we have Naughty Children. So Naughty Children is a side scheme. Uh, when revealed, place one threat here for each different resource type on cards in your hand. And this has the crisis icon, so you need to get rid of this first. It comes into play with two threats on it and has two uh, boost icons on it. Then we have Battle Suit. Uh, Battle Suit is an armor traded attachment attached to the minion with the fewest remaining hit points, otherwise this card gains Surge. Uh, attached minion gets plus two, 3 hit points and gains the aerial trait. And this gives a plus 1 attack to the attached minion and uh, has 2 boost icons. Lastly, in the Nemesis set we have 2 copies of Lost Child. Uh, Lost Child is an attachment and armor traded. Treat attached ally as re a regressed minion with a blank test box. Attached minion's scheme is equal to its printed sword and it does not take consequential damage. When revealed, attached to the ally with the highest cost without Lost Child attached. Attached ally engages its controller, otherwise this card gains surge. Okay, so your allies will become uh, minions. So that's that's fun. Okay, uh, then we could uh, for next go through the other aspect cards that come in the uh, pack. First off, we have a leadership card, Mutant Mayhem. It is a three cost event, Alliance Straightened, Hero Action Choose an X Force ally and an X Men ally and return them to their owner's hands. Choose those players play those allies, ignoring their resource cost. And this can be committed as an uh, energy resource. So, uh, allies which have uh, when enters play abilities, and of course, this will heal the allies. This is a great card to play in multiplayer. Or if you are running a lot of allies in your leadership deck, and why wouldn't you? Uh, then this is a great, great um, event for that, that purpose. Uh, not that excited for True Solo about that, but we'll see. And then we have Serve and Protect. And there it is a uh, two costed event for protection. Alliance traded, hero interrupt when any amount of threat would be placed on the main scheme. Exhaust the x character and an X-Men character, prevent that threat and give each of those characters a tough status card. And this can be committed as a mental resource. There is no such card for aggression in this pack, but there is a second copy of Unlikely Duo. So that your Wolverine deck also has that now. If you have Wolverine. Uh, that was all of the player cards and the Nemesis and Obligation cards, but we still have uh, a encounter set for the encounter deck that can be used in your games of Marvel Champions. Uh, so we, let's hop into that. So first off we have Arcade from the Arcade encounter set. Arcade is a minion with two scheme and two attack. Assassin traded, three hit points. Arcade cannot take damage while a trap Side scheme is in play. When revealed, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a trap side scheme is discarded and reveal it. In this comes in. To, uh, this has uh, three boost icons on it. Okay. And what do you know? There are a ton of uh, side schemes in this encounter set. First off, we have Welcome to Murder World. And what do you know? It is a side scheme with a trap. 
uh, hinder one, so it comes into play with two threat plus one threat per player, so in true solo with three threat. When defeated, the player who defeated this side scheme takes two damage and it has an extra encounter card icon on it. Next, you have Arcades, Funhouse. It is a side scheme with a trap uh, keyword and hinder one also. When defeated, the player who defeated this side scheme is stunned. If they were already stunned, they discard an ally or upgrade their control. And this is uh, um, that symbol that gives every encounter card the plus one um, boost icon. I just never can remember the name. And it has two boost icons on it. And then we have Hall of Mirrors. Uh, it is a side scheme with the trap keyword Hinder 1. When defeated, the player who defeated this side scheme is confused. If they were already confused, place two threat on the main scheme. And this has a crisis icon and two threat per, uh, plus one per play, player threat on it and uh, two boost icons. Lastly, we have Elaborate Trap. It is a treachery. Uh, when revealed, resolve the when defeated ability of each trap side scheme as if you defeated it. If no abilities were resolved this way, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a trap side scheme is discarded and reveal it. And it has one boost icon on it. Okay, so... That was all of the cards that come in Jubilee's pre-built Justice deck. And well, uh, I think I will try Jubilee against Yunus using the Arcane uh, Encounter set in, in uh, playthrough. So we'll see how, how the deck functions. But we'll see, there should be a lot of side schemes coming into play with the Arcane, Arcane set. So hopefully Jubilee's Justice deck can, can keep up with all of the side schemes. But yeah, I will sleeve up the deck and play a game with Jubilee. And hopefully it's fun to play, even though I'm not that keen on, on the hero. But hope uh, you guys found this HeroVac Focus helpful. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.